A woman is pouring a substance into a bowl of soup. Meanwhile, a woman in a wheelchair watches, unnoticed. The woman says that she's finally getting the inheritance. She says that her dear mother-in-law is going to meet her creator soon. The mother-in-law tries to get away quietly but accidentally bumps her wheelchair on the door. The woman realizes that she's there and invites her to eat the soup. She tries to give her some of the soup, but the mother-in-law refuses to eat it. She says that she's not hungry. The woman insists on giving her the soup because the doctor said that she needs to have a balanced diet. The mother-in-law says that she's really not hungry and starts to cough when the woman tries to force it down her throat. She asks the woman to fetch her some water or juice. The woman goes to the kitchen to get some water and the old woman swaps the bowls. The woman forces a spoonful down her mother-in-law's throat, and she says that she can do it herself. The woman eats a spoonful and checks her phone. The doorbell rings, and the woman walks away to answer the door. Outside, she greets her lover. He says that he's excited to become her new husband. She says that she just poisoned her mother-in-law's food, just like she did to her late husband. He says that she'll be able to keep the inheritance. The young man says that they're going to split it. A maid overhears everything and walks to the kitchen to warn the old lady about it. She approaches the old lady and tells her to spit it out. She says that she heard her daughter-in-law talking to her lover about how she was trying to poison her like she did to her son. She tells her not to worry because she saw her pouring the poison into one of the bowls and then swapping them. The maid, relieved, says that she has got an idea. Outside, the woman invites her lover to eat some soup. He agrees to eat as soon as they're quick. Inside, the maid transfers a bit of the soup to another bowl and asks the old lady to lend her her phone. Confused, the old lady hands the maid her phone and the maid hides it on the dinner table. Minutes later, the couple arrives. The old lady greets Pablo, the young man, and says that it's a pleasure to see him again. He says that he was like a brother to her son. She says that she must be very hurt since he died. Pablo says that his mate's death broke his heart. The maid overhears and rolls her eyes. The woman thanks the maid for serving the soup to Pablo. She invites her to eat with them. The maid says that she's not really keen on soup, but the woman insists, and she agrees to sit at the table with them.
The maid eats the soup reluctantly. The widow tells her mother-in-law that that soup reminds her of her late husband. She says that it was his favorite soup. She says that when she was ill, he only wanted to eat that soup. She tells her mother-in-law that she's sorry to remind her of that painful moment, but she was just missing him. The widow says that it's delicious. Moments later, she starts to cough and realizes that someone has swapped the bowls. She accuses the maid of doing it. The couple starts to seize on the floor, reacting to the poison. They beg for help. The mother-in-law says that she killed her son and is now asking for help. She says that he wants the bunch of them to have a proper taste of their own medicine. She says that she nearly got the inheritance for her and faints on the floor. Later, the couple is handcuffed in a hospital bed. Angry, the woman shouts at them, saying that they deserve it for destroying her family. Pablo says that he's innocent and the woman just used him to achieve her evil plan. Angry, she calls him a liar and says that he's the one who gave her the idea. They start to argue, insulting each other. The maid and the old lady watch everything, disgusted. The woman tells them that they're the victims because they poisoned them. The maid says that she called the police and an ambulance when they fainted. She says that she then showed the footage to the police, where the widow admitted trying to poison them to get the inheritance. The mother started to cry, saying that she misses her son. The maid says that her mother-in-law decided to spare their lives. The mother-in-law starts to cry again and tells the couple that they've murdered her most precious thing, her sweet and hard-working son. The maid tells her to calm down and relax because he lives in her. She says that she will never be alone because she will always be there for her, and she takes her back to her house. <laughs> 